While we've all wondered if the strong signal detected from space is the alien proof we've needed, you may have missed the coolest freaking laser beam and how power is being generated by the motion of the ocean. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where nature's ability to adapt will never be more obvious than when Ozzy the Wonder Dog does handstands on a freaking slack line. I could watch that all day. It's not weird. Solar and wind power are all the rage these days, but the mostly untapped ocean is also chock full of energy and crafty seals that handily escape hungry orcas. Fuck. Watch your language. No, that's how you say seal in French. Fuck. And stop jumping off. <laughs> oh. Look at this. <laughs> but we digress. So that's why Nova Innovation just installed what it says are the world's first tidal power generators that feed energy directly into the grid. These devices each produce 100 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power 30 homes in Scotland. The underwater turbines work a lot like their wind-driven cousins, using a huge spinning blade to capture the power of the tides. Captured from the natural ebb and flow of the tide. The two turbines in Shetland will soon be joined by a third generator to complete the tidal array. But unlike wind power, which can be hit or miss, the tides never stop flowing, which is really the moon's fault. So thanks, dude. That's why the UK Carbon Trust estimates the tidal energy market could be worth as much as $165 billion by 2050. So tidal power will definitely be bigger than our existing wave power technology. Woo! See, you can't power much with that. And finally, if you have an interest in laser beams, you'll wanna see this industrial grade laser casually skimming off thick rust again and again. With this thing, you can say goodbye to sandblasting whatever pan your kid lets sit in the sink. Sorry, Dad. And just enjoy your gleaning various metal parts like true tough guys. If you can't buy it, sandblasting still works. 